Hi pals, this week on Go With The Heat, we dig deep into Crockett's past in the episode Buddies. On This Week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from October 27th to November 2nd, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on October 27th, the Kansas City Royals defeated the St. Louis Cardinals in Game 7 of the World Series. Dubbed the Show Me Series, the Royals' win in Game 7 clinched their first ever World Series title. The series was the first to play all the games at night and was the last with neither team using a designated hitter. The World Series included four future Hall of Famers, including Ozzie Smith and George Brett. In music, number one on the Hot 100 is the classic Part-Time Lover by the one and only Stevie Wonder. From the album Square Circle, the song would reach the top of the charts in R&B, dance, adult contemporary, and number three in the UK. The song would be nominated for a Grammy Award and includes backing vocals from Cyrita Wright and Philip Bailey of Earth, Wind & Fire. In movies, at the box office, replacing Commando at the top is the courtroom thriller Jagged Edge, starring Jeff Bridges and Glenn Close. The film originally premiered on October 4th, but didn't reach the number one spot until October 27th. In the film, Jeff Bridges plays a husband who is accused of brutally murdering his wife and hires Glenn Close to defend him. Of course, Bridges and Close fall in love, because no one can resist the charming good looks of Jeff Bridges. That's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat. We even have a special guest star returning to the show. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show at gowiththeheat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corbo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals. Bye.